Dr. Doreen Grand is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Dr. Doreen Grand is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Um, I got to I got to switch to Nazra. She says, "Good morning. I have an adult autistic nonverbal son. My question is, do you think that adult young people have a chance to overcome?" And she is from St. Paul. I love the um, word. I really love the word overcome. Mm -hmm. And the reason I love that is because it ha it it's oh, it really is is about overcoming your obstacles or overcoming overcoming the things that hinder you i guess or that you find to be a hindrance and the answer is yes uh, there are a lot of adults who are who have who have learned just like we learn and this is kind of one of the important like interesting things of course to me when I was developing a lot of our ABA programs at CAR, I would, uh, when I was work, had the opportunity to work with our kids directly, I would notice that they, the way they're learning is exactly the same way I learned other languages. So, you know, English is not my first language. English is my second language. And I speak three other languages other than English. And the level of fluency that I have with those is exactly like our kids. It's, it's exactly the same thing. Like I will, you know, in certain languages, I have to really think to find words. And I know our kids go through that. In certain languages, uh, I, I still don't have things classified in a way that I can retrieve them rapidly. So I'm not yet fluent. Uh, it, you know, it, it's, it's just all of it is exactly the same way that our kids go through this. And so I know that uh, I overcome these obstacles, the more I practice, the more I, uh, it is broken down for me, the more it is given to me in chunks that are the way that I like to learn. And with uh, whether it's a child, adolescent or adult, whatever on the spectrum, Everyone has strengths as well as areas that need help and support. So a lot of times I will tell you that adults uh, or teens or children that I have on the spectrum have or have a difficult time with auditory input, but they have a tremendously strong visual input and visual memory. Um, they're, in fact, in a lot of cases, their memory is even stronger than all of ours. Um, the way they see things, their pattern recognition is much stronger than ours. There are a lot of things that are a lot stronger. And so I think a lot of our adults uh, kind of compensate, right? Just like we all do. They figure out how to use their strengths and they sort of avoid the areas that they're not so strong in, right? And with good high quality ABA and other interventions, social types of interventions, they become more and more comfortable with practice. And as they do, they can overcome a lot of those things that would prevent them from leading happy, healthy lives. So yes, the answer is, I do believe that whether you start intervention as a child, adolescent, adult, at whatever phase, um, there's always going to be progress and you will overcome uh, obstacles. Now, sometimes our, I want to be, be honest and say sometimes I see children uh, and, and adults who are so severely affected um, and have maybe medical illnesses and, you know, immune dysfunction and seizures and sleep disorders and anxiety and so many other things going on at the same time that and apraxia and so on and they've not learned for a very long time how to communicate that they have all these aggressive behaviors and frustration and so on. And it's, it's a mishmash of all these things that have happened. And it takes a little while to sort all that out and get the individual to a place of peace uh, before you, they can start to learn and overcome their own obstacles. But that being said, I don't know anyone who doesn't learn so yes, it is very, very uh, absolutely possible for an adult to have a very healthy, happy life.
I want to say thank you to Mirtha, Renee, and Elvira who are asking about Spanish subtitles. Um, we do not yet have a way to do it real time, although I will ask Traven to look into it on Restream. I know on uh, some of the other Steamyard they have a they have a, a setting for that, uh, so we'll look into that. I will tell you that when we podcast, for instance, uh, uh, we're on YouTube and that you can uh, print out, uh, there's a place where it, where it allows you to do translation into different languages, and then you can print that out. It's a little hard to follow along, but it's, it's what I have for the moment. But we will definitely look into that, and I really appreciate that. Over the years, you know, because we've been doing this for a hot minute here, uh, over the years, we've had um, different people join us. Uh, I, I loved when we were doing Autismo y Familia uh, with Juan Ronderos, uh, <laughs> the best name ever. And um, I loved doing that. There's even, there's a great interview that we did um, a very last minute where we had Temple Grandin and Juan and myself, where we were asking Temple in questions and then Juan was translating in real time. It's one of my favorite interviews we've ever done with Temple Grandin. So I um, want to encourage people to look at that. But thank you. And thank you for translating for the guest who is asking questions in Spanish. Uh, Renee and Elvira, we really appreciate that. Uh, I, it takes a village. Yeah, absolutely. And part of that, part of our village, as you know, Shannon, uh, uh, some of our viewers may not know that we have, we also all, you and I and some of our other friends work very hard at our other uh, uh, organization, Autism Care Today, and uh, which is our nonprofit organization. And I want to say that one of our board members, I was actually meeting with her and having lunch yesterday, is uh, Gabriela Tessier, and who is... Um, on Univision and has her own show every morning. And she was actually, the reason that we met yesterday was that Gabriella was telling me that uh, she really, really wants to engage and do more for the Spanish speaking uh, population. And she feels that there is, uh, you know, we need to develop, talk to her and develop some programming and ideas and stuff so that she can get, give to the to the Spanish community and help them with understanding ABA and autism. And I said that you and I would get together with her. So we will oh. wait until your second vaccine and then we'll go see her. I will love that. I will absolutely love that. She's amazing. Check her yeah. out on Univision, you guys. She's amazing. Uh... Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. Subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.